grieving Keith Duffy said goodbye to his hero father Sean at his funeral held in Glasnevin, Ireland on Thursday, supported by his family and boys' own band members Ronan Keating and Shane Lynch. Earlier this week, the boys' own singer, 47, broke the news his beloved dad had passed away aged 77. In a moving eulogy, Keith spoke about how his father battled cancer for 18 years, beating it four times, before falling ill with pneumonia and fibrosis as well as COVID shortly after Christmas. According to the Irish Sun, Keith said, For 18 years my dad had fought cancer and I remember 18 years ago on the way to Manchester Airport, coming home for the weekend on a Friday, my brother Derek telling me, I have some bad news for you. It looks like Dad has the big C, and it's so dreadful to hear those words. At that moment in time, you panic and you get emotional and I remember going to the airport thinking, it's the end. I was devastated and I got home and saw my dad and he was fine. He said, don't worry son I'm going to fight this. I'm going to fight it. And fought it he did. Keith explained how Sean beat cancer four times and was in remission before he was overpowered with pneumonia, fibrosis and COVID. He said, it wasn't a battle like before, he was overpowered. It wasn't fair, the weights were on. He had three different opponents to fight at the same time, pneumonia, fibrosis and COVID but he didn't give up. Most people would probably lose that battle after 24 hours, my dad didn't he wasn't as tall as us I have always looked up to him and now I always will. He fought that fight for 5 days and I watched something happen. I watched the man I always considered a hero, I watched how he fought not just for himself but for us, to stay around for his grandchildren. He didn't want to go anywhere. Keith said it was devastating to watch his father put up some hell of a fight but said it was time for him to finally be at rest. The singer said Sean died very peacefully surrounded by Pat, his wife, and his three sons Keith, John, and Derek. At the funeral, songs Keith's father loved were played including Bridge Over Troubled Water, How Long Will I Love You and Forever Friend. More videos 1, 2, 3 Watch video I Need a New Bra, Holly sends Miss Text During This Morning Break Watch video Madonna Hangs Out with Kanye A New Girlfriend Julia Fox Watch video Kanye West Packs on the PDA With New Girlfriend Julia Fox Watch video Cancer Sufferers Heartbreaking Restoration Request on the Repair Shop Watch video Engaged Megan Fox says yes to Machine Gun Kelly Proposal Watch Video Madonna Hangs Out with Kanye A New Girlfriend Julia Watch Video Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly Are Engaged Watch Video Love Is Blind Returns with a New Singles in Season 2 Teaser Watch Video Summer Monty's Fulham Admits Everyone She Dates Is Disappointing Watch Video Megan Fox Flaunts Her Engagement Ring From Machine Gun Kelly Watch Video Chloe Kardashian Steps Out With True After Tristan Scan Watch video Linda Robson breaks down reading viewer letter about COVID loss he was supported by bandmate Ronan, 44, who attended the mass with his wife Storm, 40, and daughter Missy, 20. Ahead of the ceremony, Keith stood by the entrance of the church, greeting close friends and family members ahead of the service. The grieving singer wore a black suit in respect to his father, with Ronan, Storm and Missy also wearing black ensembles. Shane, 45, was also pictured arriving at the church and hugged a friend, before the men carried Sean's coffin in. Announcing his father's death on Instagram earlier this week, Keith penned, Sean Duffy 1945-2022. Words cannot describe how heartbroken we are to announce the passing of our father-slash-grandfather Sean. The most courageous and brave warrior we've ever known and probably will ever know. 
we already miss him so much. Keith and Jay. X tributes flooded in for Sean as people added their messages of love and support in the comments section. The boy's own singer and his son Jay, 25, penned a heartfelt tribute to their dad and granddad as they shared a flurry of photos. Keith could be seen alongside Jay as they stood by Sean's side in a number of images shared to Instagram. Keith's bandmate Ronan commented, sending all our love. As Brian McFadden added, what a fighter. What a man. Shane added three hearts to the post as he sent his love to Keith and Jay during the difficult time. The singer first spoke of his concerns for this father during the first UK lockdown in March 2020. He added that he would regularly ignore his doctor's advice and still go to work as he enjoys staying active but explained that he hasn't been well. Keith told the son, my dad is not well at the moment so he is having to mind himself but even though he's not well, my dad would still get up and go to work. Before the pandemic he was stuck at home for a few weeks and with the extra weeks of the pandemic he is starting to go stir crazy. I think he is looking forward to getting out of the house and go for a walk, you know. He has been telling me for years he is 69 so I don't think Hess telling me the truth anymore. Hess definitely passed 70.